and welcome to Faith and Friends, our third week of our brand new show, and we are just thrilled that you are joining us. Are we still new after three weeks? Yeah, I would say so. I think there's still the new car show smell on the, uh, the set right now. I saw Andy dancing, bopping around to our, our open music. I like that theme song. Can I make that my phone ring? Maybe you can make that your own personal traveling music whenever you're just walking about. It's a great idea. Traveling music we need, yeah. Sorry. Well, you know, Christmas <laughs> is right around the corner, and we've got some great ideas for you to get into the Christmas spirit. You know, Operation Christmas Child drop-off week is long gone, but where are those boxes now, and what is their future? Well, we'll tell you all about that. Last week, we brought you a special fashion show, courtesy of Miriam's Closet. In just a week's time, some major changes for that store, plus the downtown ministry. How's next door? We'll tell you all about that. And get ready for the Retinet Christmas extravaganza. Find out today how to get tickets and why you won't want to miss this event. And it's time to eat oh, again. Andy, are I'm you ready here. for our Christmas baking segment? Baking. So we've got, let's see, the gingerbread house. We're going to put it all up and maybe a little Christmas cheesecake and all kinds of peppermint things, right? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I will wait and taste. It's gluten-free baking week, so we have some gluten-free tips for you, but they, I bet, are going to be pretty tasty. Mm, we'll find out. Yeah. But first, let's take a look at our scripture of the day. It comes to us from Luke 6, 38, which says, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Those are the words of Jesus Christ, so you know it is the truth. And as we're in this giving season, that's something to remember, that the more we give, the more will be given unto us. It's not always a lesson that's easy to learn, particularly for the youngsters at this time, but certainly something to keep in mind throughout this Christmas season. Now, last month, for one week only, thousands of drop-off points all around the world set up shop to collect Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. At the TV44 drop-off site alone, more than 13,300 boxes from West Central Ohio. Worldwide, 7.2 million shoeboxes wow. were collected and over the next six to 10 months will eventually make their way to more than hundreds of children and families in some 130 countries. Now this is an anniversary year for Operation Christmas Child. The shoebox collecting reached its 20th anniversary this year. More than 500,000, <clears> excuse me, getting all choked up about this number. 500,000 volunteers were involved with this year's collection. If you think back over the past two decades, the number of people who have been reached, affected, and made difference to, probably similar to the grains of sand on a beach. You know, as awesome as those numbers are, the stories are even more significant. Like the little girl who needed socks, and she opened up her box and found socks. <laughs> the boy who got a package of five toothbrushes in his shoe box, which was enough for him and his four other members of his family. You see, in reality, these boxes don't just impact a single child. They impact a family and sometimes even an entire community. Andy has more on how one single shoe box can change a life forever. It's the things we take for granted every day. A toothbrush, some crayons, a toy car, some pretty hair bows. Daily normals for us here in the States, but around the world, it's these little things God is using to turn hearts towards Him in extraordinary ways. It's only been a few weeks since thousands upon thousands of filled shoe boxes were collected as part of this year's Operation Christmas Child's shoe box program. Right here in the Western Ohio region, a brand new record. More than 13,300 shoe boxes came through the doors of TV44, the regional drop-off point in this area. Churches, individuals, Bible study groups, and families, everyone likes to get involved with the shoe box collection. And this year, Lima Community Church brought in more than 500. You know, when they packed these boxes, so many of them did it with their family. And so they could pray over this box and pray over the child. And so not only is it a chance for the parents to really um, disciple their kids and show their kids what it means to be a servant of God, but it gives the kids a chance to um, not only be a part of that as well, but some of them follow their boxes. So really see what they're doing and where it goes towards. Joyful it truly is for these gift recipients around the world. Not long ago, OCC Regional Manager Todd Edwards stopped by the station and talked with Jennifer about his recent trip to Uganda. And guess what? If you ever wondered if these boxes really do bring kids to Christ, listen to this. I had the privilege of visiting the prayer palace where we had about 60 children going through the Greatest Journey Discipleship Program. And what was so impactful to me is when the gospel was presented in Lesson 4, 31 children actually responded to the gospel. And these are th children who had never 
received Christ before in their life. The pastor made sure of it. And like I said, just amazing to see over 50% of those children come forth. The story just gets better. A shoebox gift impacts not just the kid receiving it, but also the family. But I had the privilege in this on the same trip of meeting a Muslim man who had come with his child to a distribution at the well, um, I think it was the Well of Life Church in the Kapala area. And he was uh, a strict Muslim. However, I was able to share the gospel with him, pray with him, and he was literally, I could tell, changed in his countenance. And I've heard follow-up that he received Christ and he is now attending that church. Shemp and her church had a similar experience when they took part in a distribution trip to Costa Rica. Um, the place that we went, they gave out boxes of hopes for the mothers in um, an area of a slum. And these mothers, it was like they won a million dollars to see that they would get a Bible and just nail polish or things that just make them feel good, which is something that we would go and get and by the end of the week, and we'd be over that we got it, a nail polish or something like that. But these mothers were so impacted. One of them wrote a letter to us, and so a translator was telling us how she was just overjoyed and would, would, would never forget our faces and never forget the little thing that we did that was just a little square box that is stuff we take for granted every day. So what is the future for the more than 13,000 shoeboxes lovingly packed by people right here in our region? Right now, they're at a distribution center in North Carolina, but soon they'll start their carefully selected journey to one of nearly 130 countries around the world. And you can still be a part of it. Commit in prayer that these shoe boxes would be used to open a door to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks, Andy. Well, just this past week, you may have seen here on Faith and Friends our Miriam's Closet fashion show when we were thrilled to tell you about this wonderful thrift store in downtown Lima with a great ministry purpose. Well, things have changed in just a matter of days. We've been told that the building has been sold. Not only does Miriam's Closet have to either close or relocate, but the same is in effect for the Center at the Square, the Life Coaching Center, which has been a real vital force in downtown Lima for eight years now. And one of the pastors who's been involved with that for quite some time is Pastor Terry Hunt of Tri-County Family Assembly. Oh God. I think I just botched up your church right. name. Pastor Hunt. <laughs> Tri-County Tri Family Assembly of God in Bluffton. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much yes. for being with us to talk about um, the situation mm -hmm. with the Center at the Square, mm -hmm. the, the need to find a new location. But before we do that, why don't you yes. just give me a little background about this downtown ministry. How is it serving the community? Well, from what I understand, every day there's, there's activities going on. And I know my part is on Sundays, two times a month. And uh, this really is the heart and passion of Pastor Jim Menke and his wife, Cheryl and they've allowed me to come in there two times a month to minister on Sundays. And then during, after the service, then we feed them. A lot of, lot of lives have been changed and uh, transformed through this ministry. A lot of homeless inner city people. So in come. those two times a month that you have come mm -hmm. in, um, what have you seen? How, how, what kind of response have you seen with the people that are coming? It has been the most amazing response I have ever seen in my life. And this ministry is just incredible. Uh, two times a month, it really inspires me. We have seen, and we have, we have kept track, we have seen over 100, it's hard to believe, but it's over 160 people that have responded to the gospel, uh, to salvation. Now, it's, you know, some of those, and I even tell the people there, sometimes some of them are repeats, you know. Yeah. But I tell them, you know, today is the day. We don't have yesterday, we don't have mm -hmm. tomorrow, and today is what is important. So some of those, even though they may uh, respond, uh, you know, two, two times a month or so, um, still, uh, it's, it's amazing. Well, response, we hear that it takes, tremendous. what, seven times or more times right. mm -hmm. to, to hear about Jesus before people respond, mm -hmm. and, and those moments can yes. be the time. Now, as with the news that the building the mm -hmm. area has been sold and the ministry has to relocate. How, how is that going to, to affect that immediate area? Well, um, not quite sure, but with what, whatever comes in there, I'm sure we'll, we'll improve that area there. But with these people, uh, I really don't know what's gonna happen 
to them, to many of them, this is their church. Mm -hmm. This is their place. This is where they eat on Sundays and perhaps on Saturdays and other, day, other days that they feed them and minister to them. So this is going to be just wiped out. And uh, I, I don't know where they will be. That's, that's a good question. I would imagine that mm -hmm. um, the Minkies are hoping to find another location. There's no indication yes, that they definitely. really want to, to close Absolutely the not. This, this is going to continue on. God, you know, moves us from one place to the next, and we're looking at, we're looking at it as a step ahead, a step mm -hmm. forward. God's got something better. Well, and this. that is the It's going to be amazing. That is the wonderful we'll way that God works. He certainly mm -hmm. would not set these people aside and say they don't no, matter. That's right. There certainly is definitely, that's right. definitely great things. Um, mm -hmm. Very, very quickly, because we are about out of yes. time, um, would, you, would you look at this downtown ministry center over the past eight years and really see, could you really say that God has impacted downtown through this? I believe so. There's been people there that have come. One, one man and his wife uh, came to me they're right inner city. I mean, this is really rough areas. And he wanted to pursue um, ministry, education. And so I, so, you know, God, God can do anything. And so I gave him some information on Global University, which is a great uh, correspondence co college of the Assemblies of God. And he began, and he is doing amazing. He, he shares me his report every two weeks. He shows me what he's been doing. And it is it is fantastic of what's happening in his life. All that because and of that center, because you right. were there, yes, because right. God was using that wonderful yeah, it's we, amazing. We encourage you to be keeping this entire situation in prayer, that it would be clear and yes. possible quick to be able to see yes, where the doors amen. are opening. We don't believe that God wants this to be closed. Now, fortunately, Miriam's closet, we don't know what the future of that is as well, but keep all of this situation in prayer as God continues to have a heart for the people in downtown Lima. Back to you, Andy. Thank you, Jennifer. Important to remember to keep this ministry in prayer. We certainly know God has great plans for it. Well, coming up in just a few minutes, Christmas baking gluten-free style. Zach Bowers has some recipes he claims you'll never know are gluten-free, even though we just told you. I'll see if it's true, though. First, here are a few upcoming events that might interest you around the Christmas holiday. An exclusive showing of the new movie, Mary of Nazareth, that can be seen at the Shannon Theater in Bluffton, starting December the 28th. Now, if you want to learn more about this brand new film, visit maryfilm.com. Tickets just $8 each, special pricing for groups of 10 or more. The airing days and times can be seen right there on your screen or by calling Shannon Theater in Bluffton for more information. The Mary Nazareth film chronicles the life of Mary from her childhood up until Jesus' death on the cross. Interesting stuff there. Well, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, probably some of the biggest days of the year for people to go to church. Are you inviting some folks along? Here at TV44, we have a growing database of service times at churches all around the region. Visit WTLW.com to find those times, dates, and locations. A neat opportunity for you just to stop by different services as well as your home church to see the flavor of Christmas. Also be praying for those pastors who are working extra hard to prepare these services very carefully. Well, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day here on TV44 means it's time for the Holiday Music Festival. 27 choirs, part of this year's festival. There you see some of them. A lot of people enjoy tuning in to TV44 on both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, letting the choir serve as background music for your family meal. If that's you, you'll want to tune in either 4 or 10 p.m. on Christmas Eve or 7 a.m. or noon on December the 25th. Holiday Music Festival just part of the special programming we have planned for Christmas week here at TV44. In place of friends, Faith and Friends next week, we'll get 30 minutes of laughs. Christian comedian Will McDaniel, very funny guy out from up in Bowling Green. Don't forget we have Annie, Christmas with the Annie Moses Band, December 23rd, 10 p.m. And one day before that, December the 22nd, Rhett Neck Christmas Extravaganza right here in Lima. Mark, I hear you're the man with the details on that one. We're just a few days away from an event that you're not going to want to miss. It is the Retneck Christmas Extravaganza. That's right, I said Retneck. Similar to Redneck, but Retneck because of a special guest. And to hear talk to us about this event is Angie Taviano. And Angie, it's coming up December 22nd, 6 o'clock at Shawnee Alliance Church. And you're going to have the Rhett Walker Band as well as Godwin from Duck Dynasty. Sounds like it's going to be a fantastic show. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Retneck uh, Christmas Extravaganza, we, you know, wanted to bring something positive to the area. Um, and of course, everybody knows about Duck Dynasty. 
Um, Godwin is, you know, a part of the, um, the, the, the family duck room. There now. Yeah, I mean, he's more or less a part of the family. Um, so he will be coming in to, you know, share his heart about what he believes Christmas is all about, as well as, you know, what he does on the set with, you know, the other guys. Um, and then Brett Walker, of course, is um, nominated or has been nominated for a Dove and Grammy Award. Um, he's an up-and-coming artist and uh, just a great guy, a great band, um, positive event. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Duck Dynasty has just really taken the country by storm and you know if you're not familiar with the show it's one of those reality TV shows where about this group of family that they, they make duck calls and that's their business but I, I think part of the reason why that show has become so popular is because the family throughout their, all their, their adventures it's really rooted in their faith. Oh absolutely yeah and you know to hear Godwin speak when he does come he will share his heart about Christ I mean and that's what it's all about is you know bringing Jesus Christ to the set and you know not backing down from their beliefs it's yeah. really important. First time a, a member of the Duck Dynasty crew comes to Lima certainly something you want to watch for December 22nd and then the Rhett Walker band just a, a fantastic testimony Rhett Walker has and just some tremendous music that he has performed. Oh absolutely yeah we're definitely looking forward to it and he will be there doing a full concert as well uh, something to look forward to so yeah, you might be familiar with some of his songs when Mercy Found Me, it Come to the River. Um, you know, tickets, I understand there's a ticket, a little reduction going on right now with the ticket prices. There is. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, SNS Volvo, uh, Tom Mall, Tuttle Construction, Elida Building and Contracting, as well as Hayes Chiropractic. They've all really stepped up to the plate and they've, uh, you know, sponsored and given us an opportunity to be able to lower the ticket prices. Um, our general mission at one point was 20, it's now 15. Uh, and VIP at one point was 50, it's now 35. So it's, it's a great, great thing to come to and you know, a great ticket price as well. Absolutely, what, what all comes in with the VIP package? Oh, VIP, you get to meet Godwin. Um, and the Rhett Walker Band. Uh, you get an autograph, you get a picture with them, you get reserved seating, uh, just a great package. So I encourage you to come. And there's a couple different places folks can pick up those tickets? They can. Uh, one place is Gifts of Joy, uh, another is Shawnee Alliance Church, and itickets.com. What are you most looking forward to with this concert? Oh, I just want to see, you know, the turnout. Uh, we are huge on bringing the community here in Lima together and I really really want to see you know a great turnout as well as just a positive event and people just you know being fed on that so. All right yeah, thank you very much Angie Taviano again thank it's you. the Retnet Christi Christmas Extravaganza coming up December 22nd at the Shawnee Alliance Church. For more information you can check out their website which is Retnek, which is W H E, or I should say W R H E T T N E C K Christmas dot com. Has all the information. You can also see and buy your tickets there as well. Again, the Rhett Walker Band and Duck Dynasty's Godwin coming to Shawnee Alliance Church December the 22nd. Duck Dynasty coming right here to Lima. Who, who would have thought? I was pretty sure that was going to happen someday. You were. Because I'm the only one who doesn't know what's going on in this life. <laughs> Actually, all I ever do is watch TV 44, so I have to be honest, I haven't even seen the show. Very good. I, haven't, I've, I think I saw it once at my in-laws when I, we had cable there, and so I watch as much cable as I can, and then, you know, I don't. So. You don't need cable. You just need TV 44. You're right. All right. Well, earlier in our show, Andy <laughs> talked about the Holiday Music Festival and when you can watch that here on TV 44. But something special that accompanies the Holiday Music Festival each year is our annual food drive. This year, the third year for Each One Bring One food drive, with this year's food items benefiting CUP, or Church's United Pantry. From December 4th through the 6th, the three days we taped the Holiday Music Festival here in our studios, members of 27 high school choirs came through our doors donating more than 500 pounds of food and more than $150 in monetary donations. And hats off to the choir directors yeah. who helped make this possible. Mary Stapleton, board president of CUP, was very, very thankful for the donations, mm -hmm. and we're certainly very thankful to those choir directors and those students for being so generous. We certainly are. More good news to report. Campaign 2014 continues to grow. Mark has our latest report. Andy and Jennifer, we do have great news. We are just about to the $100,000 mark. Remember, our goal is $150,000 by the end of 2013. All of this money earmarked for 2014 operating expenses. 
It is thanks to your generous partnership that TV44 can spread the love of Jesus through the television airwaves year after year. Let's take a moment to thank some of our recent partners, including a $700 gift from Lima, a gift from Middle Point, which includes this note. It always speaks to me in one way or another when I turn it on. No matter what is going on in my life, it seems like the message I need comes at just the right time. Isn't that so often how it works? And a $500 gift from Columbus Grove, a $1,000 gift from Minster. Certainly we thank all of those folks. And as we near the end of this year, we do want to remind you that all donations given this month are tax deductible for you according to the limits of the law. You're also welcome to make pledge and pay monthly and a very convenient way to partner with us financially. Sign up for automatic bank withdrawal. You're also invited to donate securely online at WTLW.com. Any questions about any of these options, give us a call at 419-339-4444. $150,000 is our goal by the end of this month. Thank you again for your involvement with the ministry of TV44. Well, it's been two weeks since Andy Lynch has had a chance to taste holiday concoctions. I think he has finally gotten over that Mexican cocoa, and he has got something special for us today with the start of the gluten-free baking week. In case you haven't gotten your Hallmark start and gotten your gluten-free baking week cards, we've got the recipes for you as Zach Bowers has some simple yet tasty gluten-free versions of well-known Christmas baking favorites. Good news! Food is back mm. on Faith and Friends. And Andy, you cannot eat. That's a not for you. Of goodies. I thought it was trifle when I was coming down the hallway because, you know, it's like a trifle small dish. And I was explaining to Zach what trifle is, but he's our expert, so he is well versed. What, what, in the did, what did you of bring trifle. these? these delicacies for us well, what today. we have here today are four different don't break <laughs> easy <laughs> gluten-free recipes it seems that everybody knows someone these days with a gluten related allergy or maybe a dairy allergy or soy allergy and in, during the the Christmas time the holiday times maybe you're cooking dinner and, and you've got to get a whole meal ready it's difficult to provide for those people who have those special needs and so mm -hmm. we have a few just a few recipes that you're going to be able to find on our website maybe give you a, a helping hand when you're trying to prepare some gluten-free um, desserts for this Christmas season. This will be great. My mother-in-law is gluten-free and she does a lot of the cooking at Christmas, so maybe we can pass along some, you know, I want something good to eat. You can I make something, something for tasty. her. You can, you can surprise her with a gift. Well, that's an interesting idea. Can, can I have take that? these away <laughs> after, the, after the show. But what we want to do is first go over a few different um, pointers when you are baking gluten-free. Uh, that you should be aware of before you ever start getting to the point where you're eating um, any of these desserts. And a few of those things are primarily being sure that you clean off the surface that you are baking on and that your ingredients will be on um, because it is important not to transfer any um, remains of that gluten into what you're baking, maybe from other things that you had baked. So like contaminated meat, you, you don't want to cook, you know, on the same surface same that you concept. just had your meat. Okay. Same concept. And that goes for utensils maybe the countertop, maybe the dishes that you're using. You want to make sure that those are clean and ready to be baked with so that you're not transferring that gluten. Otherwise, you're defeating the entire purpose of the recipe. <laughs> yeah, and you know, the average person probably wouldn't think about that because if you're cutting fruits and you're moving something else, you don't have to be worrying about those types of contaminations, but this, this is a big deal. Absolutely, and so that's just a, one of the few pointers that you want to be looking out for. A few other things that you can kind of have ready and on standby if you're doing some, maybe you don't often cook gluten-free recipes, but maybe you want to be prepared to do so in case you have a visitor. Um, so we have a few things here, such as some gluten-free flour that you can have ready in your refrigerator um, at any time. That's We have Pamela's artesian flour mix. Um, and then, is that and your favorite? <laughs> is what we have made these recipes <laughs> with. Yes, and then also xanthan gum, and we were just talking a few minutes ago at the ability that that has to really hold your recipes together. You'll see in the cake that we have um, it does a great job to, to hold that together. So I've, I've heard that a lot about a lot of recipes. They're very crumbly. So that xanthan gum is a offsets that thing to do. Right. Absolutely. So let's move right to our first recipe, which is candy cane sugar cookies. And that's what you see here. And you can take one out of your goblet there. I will. Am I allowed to eat it? You are allowed to eat that. Yes. What these are, how are they? Really good flavor. What these are, are they are, um, Gluten-free, nut-free, and soy-free, but they are not dairy-free because they do mm -hmm. contain butter. And I we, can taste the butter. You can see out of our recipes, these are this is the one recipe that is uh, contains that butter, mm -hmm. but very sweet. You well. can see there in the crumbliness you were talking about. It does not contain that xanthan gum, but very sweet. And the way you you the recipes will be online for the ingredients there. But what this actually has is we split the batter in two. We added food coloring to half of it, and then we of course, twisted it together in the candy cane shape there. 
Mm. How's it taste? Need a little milk, but it's a little dry. <laughs> but you it's can, very good. Can you imagine dipping these in milk? No, you don't dip cookies in milk. Come on. Who's ever you heard of that concept? You drink the milk after you eat the cookie. <laughs> Moving on. No dipping. That, we've got two different kinds of fudge here. That's you good. can see right here up front, the red is what is a peppermint fudge. The um, ones behind that with the white topping that is coconut on top of that. Mm. And these are also gluten, nut, dairy free mm. fudge. Gluten free fudge. That's right. What it is, is it contains um, non dairy chocolate mm. chips. And we have some of these here, the Enjoy Life brand that you can um, buy. Mm. There's a dairy, That's really dairy good. free, wow. it has sugar in there, That's um, very rich. cocoa powder. Very good, mm. very rich fudge. You would never know the difference if you weren't told that it was gluten free. No, I wouldn't have. Mm. And I'm very picky. <laughs> are you? In case you haven't noticed. <laughs> wow. Mm. All right, this is good. Well, let's just leave now. <laughs> we'll take this. Thank you. And we'll see you later. Oh, there's more. Oh. And you can add peppermint extract into those too, which gives it the. That coconut milk flavor. is looking better and better all the time. Mm. <laughs> Maybe after the show, we can give you some. Milk. <laughs> Finally, our last recipe here you can see this cake. <laughs> Has a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. This is gingerbread gluten free layer cake. This gingerbread? You can smell it if you have a piece here. And this like contains chocolate. molasses, sugar. Oh, it does smell like gingerbread. And this is, this is the recipe that contains that xanthan gum that's going to really hold this cake together. Mm -hmm. You may have picked up these springy. candy cane, Whoa. which were a little bit crumbly. Well, this mm -hmm. is much more moist and it's it putting is, itself yeah. together. Mm. That's good Very consistency. Easy. Yeah, you can taste the, uh, the spices in there. And this is again made with the gluten-free baking flour. I didn't think I'd be sold, but I like these treats. Wonderful. And, and, yeah. So, so these will be on our website. Absolutely. These are just a few of the recipes that you can make this holiday season to provide for those gluten-free needs that you may have in your family. Hmm. All right. So all of these recipes can be found at the Faith and Friends link on our website, WTLW.com. Um, if you have any specialty food items that you would like to see, then we encourage you to email us. Email either me, jbeck at wtlw.com, hey Mark, Mark, or email Andy, uh, I'll have some a lynch at wtlw.com. Tell us what you'd like to see on Faith and Friends, and maybe your food item will show up. Yes, and we are also looking for Ohio-based businesses. Do you have a specialty food product that you'd like us to try? That would be fun. Hmm. Zach could still be an expert, though. That's right. I look forward to hearing <laughs> the <different> recipes. <laughs> we can try them out on the show. That's right. But before we go, we want to take a moment to revisit our verse of the day. It comes from Luke 6:38. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. I like the, the tying of the food, measuring back. Zach measured lots of good ingredients and look at the bounty that came from it. <laughs> lots of cookies. I'm excited to eat some of these after, yeah, after you're we're done. We want to let you know that next week, instead of Faith and Friends, we're going to have a wonderful comedian for you, same time as the normal show, Will McDaniel. We think you're really going to enjoy that, he so make funny. sure you tune in for that wonderful show. And Christmas time. Yes, yeah, I really want to wish everyone a, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and just remember the real reason for the season as we celebrate the birth of our Christ.